in office. Uh, so you have the floor. Thank you. It's always a great pleasure to be introduced by you. So I was asked to speak clearly and uh, gently and slowly, so it helps with translation. The two most important innovation is the indirect bonding that was discussed by Catherine and uh, uh, treatment uh, with the aligners. We remember uh, what we did with our uh, prosthodontist uh, and uh, we had uh, um, the models, uh, we had walks up, uh, uh, we had uh, the whole process that required a long time. It was time consuming. Now we have uh, the technical opportunity to do it in uh, our office and is a mini revolution. What are the advantages? Uh, of CAD CAM. Of course, there are different advantages. I am going to speak about uh, the independency. So we can do everything in office. In our practice, uh, we don't have to send anything to the lab. And it's also intellectual autonomy. So we are at the heart of the process. Uh, and uh, even if we produce uh, minor things, uh, we decide which uh, tooth is going to be moved first. Uh, and uh, it's not linear movement. We decide uh, what to do first. Uh, and uh, this is very important. Uh, and this is the main gain uh, when we treat with aligners. So very quickly, I will proceed further. So these are the main advantages. So of course, uh, rapidity is uh, a main advantage <coughs> because uh, uh, you uh, can really be independent from a technological viewpoint. Uh, usually you have to wait a couple of weeks, uh, you have to validate the setup, uh, then you receive uh, the brackets uh, and it takes time. And uh, sometimes you have to wait for the aligners, uh, and uh, you have to wait, uh, and therefore slow down uh, the process. Then money, you, you make some savings, uh, and uh, this uh, is also important. Uh, I spoke with Francois Damé, and uh, who does uh, full arch uh, treatment uh, um, in a fantastic way. <clears throat> but of course, this requires uh, time assistant uh, uh, that are devoted only to this. Uh, and uh, Invisalign has in office also practice. Uh, but it's enough to buy one to a machine for a mini chain. You have to consider the. Um, a number of uh, aligners, uh, because of course you require assistant work. Uh, perhaps uh, the limit uh, in an office like mine, if I do everything in office, uh, for instance, 7, 8, uh, or 14, 8, 16 um, bra brackets or aligners, it's uh, interesting because I have a Biostar, I have uh, the assistant, etc. But uh, if I go beyond this number, there are, of course, uh, no longer an advantage. So you have to be careful. Each one is going to consider what are the personal um, constraints. OK. Then, uh, of course, we have a CAD camera system, and we have a software. And uh, <laughs> it's a 30 percent less expensive. So consider this 30, 40 percent less, if even 50 percent less. And therefore, we can consider something more exotic. There were some uh, comparative studies of the different scanners that were published, and you have to make your own study. But uh, aim at uh, ice. 700 is very good. Then we have to create our models, uh, so planning is important. Uh, and uh, this uh, is, uh, of course, uh, very important. This is a software that uh, we have pre-shape, uh, then uh, ortho, uh, 
and my colleague is going to speak about it. We're not going to repeat uh, how these two software work. Uh, Michael is an expert of uh, OrthUp, and uh, he will give all the details about uh, how to use it. Uh, the best uh, of the software is uh, the one that gives you the possibility to treat uh, uh, in a simple uh, way, simple and complex uh, cases. We need uh, user friendliness, uh, but uh, of course, uh, but we have to treat also complex uh, prescription. We don't need only to align teeth, but we need the software that can privilege a uh, single unit movement or multi-teeth movement with uh, uh, the staging uh, approach. And uh, Michelle will speak about it. So everything has to be intuitive, uh, even in complex cases. What is nice about it is that uh, the learning curve, as we call it, is incredible. For the first, you need one hour because uh, you have to know how it works, you have to know the software, and then, uh, of course, you dramatically reduce the uh, learning uh, curve five, ten minutes for each case. But this is very important because uh, this is where you experience uh, counts. And so, uh, it's uh, uh, this is very important. And then the third stage, uh, you're going to print. And uh, uh, for those uh, who are very uh, pioneering uh, in the sector and uh, uh, no modern technology, these printers can be uh, bought at Carrefour, so hypermarket. Uh, there was a company in northern France that sold uh, these printers. We start with filament printers. Uh, that had uh, something very peculiar because uh, the printer was not fin well finished. It took some hours. Now things uh, have improved. And then we have resin printers uh, that came to the market. Of course, they are more expensive. Uh, also, uh, because the material used are more expensive, resin is more expensive than filaments. Uh, but the results uh, are exceptional. In fact, uh, uh, the results are reproducible. Now, manufacturing is always the same. It's not Stone Age. It's just a plastic sheet that will be thermoformed on a rigid model that will be produced by the printer. And we wait for the day in which a genius will come with a printer that print directly the final um, Splint. Five years ago, Janier bought one uh, of this printer, but the material is so so thick that uh, he was never able to uh, remove uh, the final product. Uh, the printer were very expensive when didn't have the right material. However, that in the future we can have finally material, but. Uh, will help us to produce the best product in the best way. This is a workflow. So we scan, then we plan, then we produce the model. And then we have, of course, uh, to uh, light cure. And then we have to have the hydrocolic gel bath. Uh, to remove all the residues uh, that were not like cured. Uh, and then after the post-treatment, we have uh, the thermal forming stage. And uh, the day in which we can stop after the printing stage, it will be an incredible success for all of us. I will now switch to another stage. Uh, Michael will speak about Orthop. But we decided to speed up, uh, and uh, therefore I prepared a video clip uh, on clear aligners, uh, so the transparent ones. But I do not want uh, to take too much of your time, so I don't know. So we have uh, Century 200, which is uh, a excellent uh, uh, resin printer. Next end, uh, 5,100. Then we have Sprint Ray Pro, tier time up 300 that I shortly discussed. That is really very good. 
then post uh, treatment uh, when we clean the models once they come out of the printer, especially resin uh, um, ones that have to be cleaned, uh, and then uh, light curing uh, and thermal forming. Uh, the first time I uh, saw these uh, machines uh, to answer Lady's question, we need uh, 125. Uh, so big surface. So uh, this one, sorry, we don't get the question. Well, good. We think that uh, in order, uh, it's like a pizza mach machine, a pizza oven. And it, it, this is a video I wanted to show you. So uh, very quickly, I'll show you the video clip. Tout ça, c'est le travail euh, que les... This is what we have to do. You see, we have to clean, then the segmentation. I'll try to be quite quick to show you the video. And uh, this is uh, how you place the attachment. And uh, you can choose staging and uh, how to proceed with uh, the treatment, so the different stages, then you have to separate, etc. And you see the number of uh, aligners. And uh, this is very interesting. So this uh, is what we do. And uh, within these align, you can't do it unless uh, you write it so that people beyond uh, uh, our natural frontier in the other on the other side of the ocean uh, can produce it for you. So you have to ask for changement. So they can't do the same with Invisalign. Um, Michel, you're going to do it uh, better than us. Uh, French do it better. So, so, eyeliner treatment uh, in office is really very exciting. You have an incredible opportunity because you have a digital partner with Ortho Partner who will allow you to test uh, um, the equipment for a couple of months uh, before you buy them. You can choose on the basis of what you want to do it, uh, the percentage of treatment you want to do with uh, a liner, etc. I started with a few cases. Um, I started with relapsed cases first, uh, with a retainer, uh, etc. So I started with uh, 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 four or five uh, uh, aligners. Uh, and then uh, a couple of weeks, and then uh, I uh, bonded uh, the uh, wire. And uh, therefore, you uh, can do it well. You can redo it, and it's very simple and well done. And uh, it also for adults that came after retention. And, uh, you know, the retention wire that we leave for five and ten years uh, and sometimes can cause problem because we have many retention wires uh, that uh, uh, in the worldwide uh, and this can cause problem. And in case of others uh, that come back to us after a couple of years and we see uh, that he was very serious and compliant uh, with the retention, if he has a problem because uh, the contention wire uh, came off, of course, uh, uh, we have to do something. We remove the wire, we clean, we can use some aligners, and the last uh, uh, aligner that he's using, uh, we tell them, well, use them for a couple of weeks, uh, and therefore we can give them a very good uh, retention service. Uh, and. Uh, of course, patients will appreciate what you did for them. So I like very much these are in office treatment with aligners, and it's up to you to see how you're going to use it in your office. Merci beaucoup, Olivier. J'aimerais savoir s'il y a des questions pour vous. 
Thank you very much, Olivier. I would like to know whether there are questions. Alors, Olivier, j'aimerais savoir si. Uh, I would like to ask you a question then. How frequently in a week? How frequently do you use this solution once, two, three times in a week? How frequently? What are you referring to? Are you referring to these short treatments? Eh? I would say a couple of weeks, a couple of times in a week. As you said, there were thousands of patients that may have this kind of problem. So hide, either we send them to someone else, but let's not forget that we have 35-year-old parents who come with their children to be treated and then have a relapse and ask to be treated themselves. So maybe they have a fixed retainer, they've been wearing fixed retention for years, and they come back with a relapse, but again, as I was saying, we take the digital impression, we remove the fixed retention, and after three, four days, we place the first clear retainer. So it happens to me at least two, three times a week.